Welcome back, everybody. We have another Masters of the Universe review. Oh, this one's been a long time coming. Uh, I actually blew off buying this one for quite a while. Um, you know, I, there's a lot of stuff to collect, and the Masters of the Universe, they've been putting it out consistently, which is actually pretty nice to get uh, so many figures in such a short period of time. I mean, it's like three years, and we've had, like, almost everybody... Um, we're not really not missing that much, uh, and they've even thrown on a lot of extra stuff that you wouldn't expect. Um, but you know, they're really pumping out all the variants of He-Man and Skeletor. Uh, and this one here, uh, not only does it, uh, you know, there's no nostalgic, uh, feeling for it other than the fact that it was a thing. And as a kid, you kind of wanted it. Um, but you know, I never even saw, I don't even think I've ever seen uh, the original in person. Uh, and you kind of wanted every Masters of the Universe, but uh, I never got this one. I, I had the battle damage and I had the dragon, uh, you know, Skeletor, but I never had Terra Claws. Uh, and then the other reason why I kind of blew it off is um, <laughs> somebody <laughs> said it looks like he's wearing a sports bra. So I've been calling him uh, Terror Bra Skeletor for like the last... Uh, well, since he was first announced, uh, that is a terrible, uh, costume design. Whoever does design that, uh, you know, God, what would it be 30 years ago already? Probably more like 35 years ago already. I don't know if they're thinking about it, but, uh, they, they put him in a, in a sports bra. So I call him Terra Bra, uh, Skeletor. Um, but <laughs> when somebody pointed that out, uh, recently, uh, it just, I can't unsee it. Uh, I see it all the time. I see it whenever I look at the, the, the figure, um, <laughs> it just wasn't a priority for me. So I think I got him for him and Flying Fist He-Man. I might have paid like 12 bucks, maybe even 15 bucks for him. Uh, but I, I wasn't going to pay full price because it didn't matter that much to me. Flying Fist He-Man, uh, I, I have my reasons for wanting that, but I also blew off that one. Uh, and I'll get into that when I have the review. I, I've had that figure for like three weeks. Well, since Christmas, I think both of these uh, I found on sale. So, um, yeah, just, uh, <laughs> that's a whole story with that. Let's, uh, let's look at the card art real quick. You know, so I didn't realize this is from the, the, the party boy Stratos and Jitsu and buzz off and sorceress wave. I, I, God, I can't believe it's been that long since, uh, uh this came out, uh, or it's from that wave. Um, but yeah, it's been a while, I guess. Um, but you know, the, the, uh, Card art is where I was going with this. Um, if you look at the card art, uh, we have Too Bad and Spike Or. Both those are guys are coming on are are probably going to be on the way pretty soon. Uh, Spike Or for me is a huge one that he, he always kind of felt like Skeletor's inner circle, you know, of villains. Uh, he did actually create the Terra Claws, uh, you know, appended, you know, those the the armor for him. I think he's an armor. I do think he makes. Uh, weapons and stuff like that is kind of one of his things, uh, and he made the Terror Cla Claws. I have read the comic on that. Uh, too bad, also an amazing figure. Uh, honestly, I'm hoping we get a three-pack of him with uh, the two of them separated, and then uh, Too Bad together would be absolutely fantastic if that happened. If it doesn't happen, we only get Too Bad, that's just fine too, but uh, I would love the individual characters. So, But yeah, more amazing uh, card art. You know, it has a lot of the... Um, instructions on the back and it says turn figure in either directions arm swing it looks like this is another one that's going to have uh the classic uh action feature which i'm i'm pretty disappointed with actually uh but we'll open them up and, and double check on that yeah so here he is um unfortunately uh i can confirm uh his waist you have to twist it uh, for him to, you know, swing his arms, uh, you can kind of, there's, there must be on gears to where you can, uh, snap it you, know, you can snap the arms up and down. Uh, but you know, <laughs> again, with a twist waist, you, you have to twist waist him, uh, to get his arms to move and you, his, his waist won't stay in the same spot. Uh, huge disappointment. Uh, I know, you know, like I've said in other videos, a lot of people like the action features from, their childhood. Uh, I actually kind of hate it. I, I really, really do not like it. Um, there's just not a lot I can do with this figure as a, a toy photographer. Uh, and then I'm guessing this is the same thing as, uh, you know, Thunder Punch He-Man, where he's just not going to come apart. I can't, 
pop his waist off. I can't pop his arms off. Uh, his sports bra actually is uh, a solid piece. Um, so that, that whole torso, there's no popping that uh, sports bra off and putting him on another uh, character. And, you know, even with that, his, uh, you know, cod piece, his, his belt and stuff, it, uh, it's pretty cool. It's red and black. Um, there is, you know, even if I did all that, uh, there isn't a Skeletor that has that red and, and black as far as I can tell. Uh, and I ha do have a feeling what's going to happen with him is uh, I will... So my big one of the biggest things I want to do with pictures with him is take a picture of him and Spikor, uh, him getting the armor. And uh, in the comics, actually, he doesn't wear the sports bra. He has his normal uh, Skeletor uniform on. Uh, so I'm going to probably end up using him like that, I'm sure, when I do use a Terror Claws. Uh, but, yeah, you can't do that. I, I, with Let me let me think about it. Flying Fist He-Man. I'm guessing that's the same exact thing. That's... Uh, so lame uh but what do you do you know uh and then of course comes with a, a mini comic uh that mini comic is the same one that comes with the rest from that wave um we got another havoc staff which is actually pretty cool because i think that gives us gives me something like four of them now there's one that's metallic one that's original this looks like the plain old uh one from the original uh skeletor and i think what i'm actually going to do is cut the head off this one i'm going to sacrifice it cut the head off and then i just have uh, that gold skull uh, to use as a prop and stuff for other pictures. Uh, and then they did give us two heads, uh, which we already have that head. Uh, that You know, you see it spare head right there by his feet. We already have that head. Uh, even Flying Fist He-Man comes with the yelling face. And I do appreciate the yelling face more than almost any face. Uh, but they really got to start mixing these these heads up. I mean, they got to they gotta start doing something uh, new. Um, you know, maybe give us a skull. It would be easy enough to take... Um, What's the ghost guy? Uh, Scareglow. It'd be easy enough to take Scareglow's uh, skull and maybe take Skeletor's hood off. You know, or do a unhooded, you know, uh, skull with that same color, that yellow that we have with uh, Skeletor. And then, you know, his yellow skull and greenish tint to it with the red eyes. Uh, they should really do something like that. Maybe, or maybe a half-melted face. I don't know. I think about the same thing with the He-Man. Uh, they give us extra heads with He-Man. Uh, but how about you give us a new head? Like, give us a laughing one or a smiling one, smirking one. He-Man's always smirking. Uh, that would make a good extra head. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, we haven't seen that yet, and at this point in time, I doubt we will uh, see any more. So, um, yeah, that's about all uh, I have to say about this figure. Uh, again, I'll just show you guys the action feature real quick. Um, it is kind of fun if you're just playing with the figure, but... Uh, as far as, uh, like I said, I, I like to pose uh, and take pictures of uh, action figures. Um, so that's kind of that's kind of lame. And I think this used to be like, he would have it above his head like this, and it was supposed to flip down, whatever this thing is. Uh, I don't know what kind of use they'll get out of that. I've never liked that accessory. Uh, but uh, we do have it, so which we should. But uh, otherwise, you know, guys, we should really take uh, some pictures of them if we can, uh, doing what Skeletor does best, terrorizing good guys. So let's go to that. Yeah, so we got, uh, you know, Terra Claus Skeletor out uh, in the you know, woods or whatever, uh, getting ready to attack. Snout Spout, uh, a character I don't nearly use uh, enough. Actually, I should probably be using him a lot more. I need to get a fire uh, shot going with him sometime. Absolutely love the figure as a kid. Um, and this, uh, the, the deluxe version or the origins version is absolutely fantastic. So, um, glad I got him out. Um, but I definitely need to do a video or two of him, uh, as the main character. But anyways, we're back to Terra Claus. Terra Claus attacking, uh, Snout Spout in the, uh, out in the, out in the forest. Um, yeah, I don't know. Just, uh, using that same backdrop I've been milking for the last how many videos and, uh, Thrown in these trees that I've, I haven't even used yet. I got them. Uh, they're Playmobil trees, uh, and I definitely should be using them way more. Uh, but but just making a cool uh, forest scene, and, and and of course Skeletor uh, sneaking up on Snout's Spout to take him down. So uh, let's do a couple more shots with him. Yeah, so this turned out really good. Um, we got all these flame effects, which are Tamashi, and then I used my lights behind him. 
I've been wanting to do that for quite a while uh, since uh, getting those, you know, Alonzi lights. Uh, and then finally <laughs> getting them out there for a shot with uh, Skeletor and, and Snout Spout. And man, did it turn out good. Like nothing better than these two fighting in the woods just surrounded by fire. And uh, yeah, it just, it, it turned out good. I, I'm really uh, happy with this picture. So um, definitely looking forward to using uh, those lights more with flame effects. But yeah, that's not much else to say. Some polyester fuzz re up real close, uh, so it blurs it out and does a pretty good job of looking like, uh, you know, smoke or whatever. Um, yeah, just turned out uh, to be a great shot, so very happy with it. Uh, let's go on to one more. Hey right, guys, so this is just turning out uh, way better than I thought it would for uh, Terra Claw's uh, Skeletor. I really didn't expect much because I don't care that much about the character. And it's been a lot of fun with the flames and, and uh, wood setting and everything else. And, and basically, I'm just bringing in He-Man for a guest appearance uh, to save Snout Spout from uh, getting ripped apart by uh, Skeletor. But yeah, again, just using those Alonzi lights and then uh, the flame effects on uh, just the pictures turning out to be really good. So uh, anyways, guys, hit the like and subscribe button. Check out the description of this video for... Um, Instagram and Facebook page. Also, check out some of my other videos, uh, some of my setups, my toy photography, uh, masterwork setups, a lot of fun stuff there. Uh, anyways, guys, we'll see you at the next video. Bye now.